बीजेपी साउथ दिल्ली एम पी रमेश बिधुरी ट्रिगर्ड अ मैसिव पोलिटिकल कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ओवर इज ऑब्जेक्शनेबल रिमार्क्स अगेंस्ट बी एस पी दानिश अली बिधुरी मेड दीज रिमार्क्स ड्यूरिंग अ लोकसभा डिबेट ऑन चंद्रयान थ्री ऑन थर्सडे नाइट द रिमार्क्स विच हैव बीन एक्सपंज वेंट वायरल ऑन एक्स फॉर्मरली ट्विटर ऑन फ्राइडे वाइल द बीजेपी हैज इश्यूड अ शो कॉज नोटिस टू बिधुरी अली हैज कॉल्ड फॉर एक्शन टू बी टेकन अगेंस्ट हिम हेलो एंड वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग एच डब्ल्यू न्यूज इंग्लिश आई एम सॉरी Before starting the news report on BJP's South Delhi MP Ramesh Biduri, let me first tell you about Ramesh Biduri's political journey. The 62-year-old Ramesh Biduri, who represents the BJP as a member of parliament from South Delhi and secured victory in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, has been actively involved in politics since his college days. From 2003 to 2008, Biduri served as the vice president of the Delhi BJP. He also won the Delhi Assembly polls three times until 2014. holding the position of a three time mla from delhi's tuglakabad constituency his 2019 lok sabha victory marked his second consecutive win following his success in 2014's general election biduri is a commerce graduate and holds a law degree according to 2019 data there were four pending criminal cases against him controversial remark by bharatiya janata party lok sabha mp ramesh biduri representing south delhi has once again garnered attention this time due to his use of communal slur in parliament on thursday september 21 during the parliamentary session biduri directed derogatory comments to a bsp mp danish ali labeling him as a muslim terrorist among other offensive statements this is what he has said in the parliament against bsp mp danish ali dekh kya le rahe modi saab sire bhi le rahe sire le rahe hain desh ke vyagyan oi 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 ugrawadi सिरे ले रहे हैं उग्रवादी बोले भी तो आगे भी खड़ा होगा ये बता रहा हूँ उग्रवादी सर ये जो सिरे अगर जाता है तो देश के को जाता है जी प्लीज प्लीज आतंकवादी है उग्रवादी है ये मुल्ला आतंकवादी है सर अभी मैं बताना अधीर रंजन जी अधीर रंजन जी अभी मचा रहे थे पढ़ रहे थे दिस इज नॉट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट बिधुरी हैज बीन एम्ब्रॉइल्ड इन अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी एज पर अ रिपोर्ट बाय द फाइनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन बिधुरी ट्रिगर्ड अ पोलिटिकल कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी वेन फाइव वेमेन लॉ मेकर्स फाइल कंप्लेन विद द देन लोकसभा स्पीकर सुमित्रा महाजन अगेंस्ट हिम These five women MPs namely Sushmita Dev, Ranjit Ranjan, Arpita Ghosh, PK Shrimati and Supriya Sule alleged that the BJP lawmaker had made sexist remark in the house. In 2017 he stirred controversy by invoking Sonia Gandhi's Italian background to criticize the Congress party. During a rally in Mathura Biduri remarked that it was not in line with Bharatiya sanskar to have children and grandchildren within 7 months. Biduri made these comments in response to Congress party's criticism of the BJP's Achhe Din slogan and its perceived failure to fulfill promises. As per a report by Siyaset Daily in 2019 the Delhi Election Commission issued a notice to Ramesh Biduri on Thursday May 9th for reportedly referring to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as a pimp during a public meeting. Kitne logo ko yaad hai Kejriwal baat bola karta tha? Ye kisi ne kaha tha? Kejriwal ne kaha tha ki tumhar Congress hi jo mama phupi ke the jo tu apne bachcho ki kasam kha ke bhi samarthan le raha tha to do jagah और या तेरी औलाद जिसकी तू कसम खा रहा था वो जो अपनी जबान का पक्का ना हो जो अपनी जबान रोज रोज बदले उसको क्या कहते हैं लोग उसको क्या कहते हैं कहते हैं उसको इसकी जबान ही नहीं है ये बोलते नहीं बोलते हैं faced accusations of physically assaulting and behaving inappropriately towards party members during a run for unity event held on October 31st 2018 in Sangam Vihar within his constituency Biduri and his supporters were alleged to have attacked and behaved poorly towards party worker Chandan Chaudhary and others during this event 
The then Delhi BJP chief Manoj Tiwari addressed these allegations in the letter to Biduri, emphasizing the seriousness of the charges. In the letter, Tiwari also pointed out media reports suggesting that Biduri's family members and supporters have engaged in clash with the other party workers. Given the gravity of these allegations, Tiwari asked Biduri to explain why disciplinary action should not be initiated against him. Biduri was granted 10 days to respond to this letter. That's all on the news report. Stay tuned with HW News English. Thank you for joining us.